Lowest of the low in precious metal thefts. A thief or thieves stole a bronze statue from a gravestone inside a far northeast side cemetery. As it turns out, thefts from cemeteries have become a common problem. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live tonight from our downtown studio on Monument Circle with details. Jack. Well, Todd, it's a heartbreaking situation to lose a loved one and then lose the memorial, the tribute to her life. Well, it's the kind of pain that a north side family is dealing with tonight. A memorial to a life lived, a bronze sculpture of Mother Mary and the baby Jesus, a tribute from the Irip family to a wife and mother, Joan. Today, the 150-pound sculpture is gone, stolen in the night by thieves unknown. This was a wonderful memorial to my late wife, so it, it meant a great deal to us, and it brought me a lot of comf comfort, and I think it has my children, too. So to lose that is, is just a, a horrible feeling. The theft has reignited the grieving process for the Irish family. The bronze sculpture had graced the memorial undisturbed for nearly 12 years. Our officials at Our Lady of Peace Cemetery believe the thieves may have scaled the fence over the weekend. A few years ago, thieves were stealing bronze plaques from these stands. They got four over two consecutive nights, so the cemetery had to encase them in concrete to keep them from getting stolen again. Metal thefts from cemeteries across the nation is on the rise. Oh, it's, it's a huge problem. Twelve years ago, metal thieves stripped Crown Hill Cemetery of dozens of valuable and historic antiquities, many of which were never recovered. And within the past couple of weeks, thieves hit Crown Hill again. It's a difficult situation, particularly because cemeteries are open spaces. And we encourage people to come and visit and take advantage of the green space. So it, it, it's a very difficult situation. Probably more so in very large cemeteries because you can never be every, everywhere at all times. The Irick family fears the worst, that someone would melt down the sculpture for scrap. If they can't get it back, they would prefer that the thief that stole it would keep the statue intact. Very sad day for us and really don't know what we're going to do right now. Um, it's kind of too painful to contemplate. I don't want to do another one and have it stolen either. So I'll gather with my children. We'll, we'll make a decision. But um, just a horrible day. The police report they're praying for the statue's uh, safe return. Indianapolis police will distribute the photographs of that statue to area salvage yards. And investigators tell me that area scrap yards that are on the up and up will recognize the sculpture for what it is and call police. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.